My next guest is uh, making her network television debut on this program tonight. She is a very talented comedian who prefers to call herself a petite flower. She can be seen in person on June 7th at the Chicago Comedy Showcase. Please welcome Judy Tenuta. Judy. Hi, pigs. <laughs> Fighting soldiers from the sky. Fearless men who jump and die. Men who meet will sing along. So take a Letter, Maria, address it to my wife. Say I won't be coming home. I'm dating Barney Fife. You know, I'm a petite flower. It can happen. Let's go back in time. Oh, isn't it interesting how timing can change our lives? Yes. Like today, uh, I was throwing this bucket of hot water out of my window when this Jehovah Witness walked by. It was time for him to be reborn. Wait, wait, I want to put down my IUD. Hey, you guys, remember when we were kids and we used to do this? Oh, Mom. I can't go to school today. I'm turning into Morgan Fairchild. <laughs> oh, she needs to be put to sleep. I mean it as a compliment. Uh, how many of you ever started dating someone because you were too lazy to commit suicide? Huh? Oh, I think you know what I mean. And you look for someone who you know will do it for you. Yes, that's why I like to go to the emergency room of Mount Sinai. Yes, you can meet a lot of nice plankton in there. So I'm in the emergency room like a petite flower, and I'm not saying I needed immediate attention. I'm holding my head in a paper bag, and the nurse says, what seems to be the problem? I said, oh, no problem, sea cow. I want to start a new wave band. Oh, she was begging to be a guest cadaver on Quincy. Oh, yes. You know, I, I want to meet a sensitive guy, like some of you, but with a pulse. So, um, so I went into this punk rock bar, and this guy comes up to me, and he's got a mohawk haircut. He goes, hey, want to dance? I said, no, we've had enough rain, Cochise. <laughs> he says, you shouldn't talk to me like that. When I make love, I turn into an animal. I said, oh, that's a step up. Hmm. He said, you know, Judy, Judy, you would have more respect for me if you knew what I did for a living. I said, okay, so what do you do? He says, I am a criminal lawyer. I said, oh, not too redundant. <laughs> oh, I see, you don't need cliff notes for that. So, so then he said, oh, come on, Judy, let's go out once. What do you say we go out once? I said, ah. Uh, to tell you the truth, I was looking for someone a little closer to the top of the food chain. <laughs> and uh, he says, well, I work at the Safeway. So we go out, we go out, and, um, and he says, Judy, he says, Judy, he says, Judy. <laughs> he had an accordion, too. It could happen. 
He said, Judy, Judy, you should like me because I'm special. I said, oh, great. I can read to you slow. <laughs> oh. And then he says, you know, I'm perfect for you, Judy, because I'm a cross between a macho and a sensitive man. I said, oh, like a gay trucker? <laughs> And then you know what? Come closer, come closer. I want to tell you a secret. He tried to kiss me. <laughs> he cannot possess me. He tried to kiss me and he kissed like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> his head fell back 180 degrees. <laughs> and his tongue popped out. Like I'm supposed to give him communion. Thank you so much. Yeah.